Pokemon Nuzlocks are great. They take everyone's favorite children's game with their cute little animals and fun adventures and twist them into a dangerous battlefield of high stakes and emotional damage. That said, this Nuzlocke run is extra great for two specific reasons. I've been playing Pokemon for over 20 years, but I have never attempted a Nuzlocke challenge myself. And I'll be going into this game completely blind. Yep, I have somehow never played or watched any Gen 5 Pokemon game before. Now, if you live under a rock and somehow don't know the rules of a Nuzlocke challenge, let me break it down for you real fast. First up, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on every route. Next, every Pokemon you catch, you have to name and love as if it is your own adorable little child. And finally, once your adorable little child faints in battle, like a Pokemon does sometimes, it's dead forever and as if stumbling blindly through a completely unknown pokemon generation wasn't enough of a challenge i decided to play it hardcore style because i'm a hardcore gamer now sit back relax and enjoy the adventure that brought me from this so far nuzlocke seems easy i mean i'm just saying this nuzlocke seems easy to this how do he crits? <gasps> Our adventure begins where every new Pokemon game does. In your mom's house. <laughs> where our adventure actually begins is in the starter city, where a complete stranger decides to present to us with potentially the most important decision of our run. Now, since this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, it's important I stress just how much each decision in this game can domino effect into either a rousing success or a complete dumpster fire of failure. That said, I picked Oshawott for the extremely strategical reason of... It is very cute. Oh, by the way, I'll be naming every Pokemon in this run after members of my chat. Just letting you know now before the names get weird. And so, with Lemon Rush the Oshawott by our side, we embark on our grand journey to complete our very first blind Nuzlocke challenge. On the way to Flocussy, <clears throat> Flocussy Town, it's time for a first encounter. All right, let's see what it's going to be. First Pokemon is... Pat Rat. I see. <sighs> we stumble upon this underwhelming rodent who is begrudgingly caught and named Silver. We push past a little story, meet some weirdly athletic old guy named Alder, and head towards our first big challenge of the game, the first gym. Unbeknownst to me, the first gym leader in this game, Sharon, is known for his stupidly powerful puppy. Luckily, we swing by two more locations, pick up Logan the Purloin and Crystal the Azuril, and swagger our way towards this towering titan of a trainer with the undeserved confidence of, uh, a girl who has no idea what's in store for her. The battle begins! First, Charon's Pat Rat, a complete pushover. This fight will be positively peachy. Next up, the Lillipup. This precarious pupper pales before our prolific paragon of a Pokemon party, standing in its pow. Oh my god, it killed my Pokemon. Oh my god. Please miss, please miss, please miss. No, 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 no. Oh no. Please, Lemon Rush. I believe in you. No, 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 no. <laughs> My star. Miss, 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 miss. No. <laughs> and so it was with the tragic loss of our first three Pokemon that we decided this might not be as easy as I thought. I say my goodbyes, salute the fallen, and proceed solemnly with only Crystal the Azuril by my side and a whole gaggle of obstacles ahead. Having lost three of our four Pokemon to completely <clears throat> unavoidable deaths, our roster for the upcoming gym was looking a little wimpy. Not only did we have exactly one tiny blue dot for this upcoming gym, but we were only allowed to capture exactly one more Pokemon before having to throw down. In comes 
Sleepy the Magnemite. Lucky for me, this little eyeball was exactly what the doctor ordered to rock Roxy's world. With the power of Thunder Wave, Supersonic, and a literal resistance to poison, we successfully annoyed this entire gym to death. With two badges now in our pocket and two absolute powerhouses in the party, it was our time to embark on the real journey to the mainland. <sighs> Aspertia City, where the buildings are tall, the dreams are big, and the organized crime is rampant. After beating up some mafioso gabagool in the sewers, we pick up a few new buddies to add to our party. Namely, Dalen the Sandile, Warus the Zubat, and Magnazone the Rog and Rolla. Okay, I know I let my chat vote on the names, but come on, guys, this is gonna be so fing confusing. <sighs> This bug boy burr isn't even a sliver of a challenge for our ragtag team of bandits. So I made like a software developer and absolutely debug the crap out of that place. Fresh off the back of our successful raid, it was time for a fateful encounter that would set the pace for the entire rest of the run. Darumaka. Sporting a 30% encounter rate, this little red ball evolves into an absolute beast of a carry, thanks to its common ability, sheer force. Sheer force, in layman's terms, make move hit hard. Harder than normal. Move hit harder than normal is very good. And as luck would have it, Uno the Daramaka joined the party. Although we should probably name him Janitor because little Uno here was getting ready to sweep. Oh, also we caught a pincer. If you don't remember, I've been playing this whole Nuzlocke hardcore style. That mainly means no items in battle and no outleveling the next gym leader. It's also super common in hardcore Nuzlocke to use rare candies to skip the grind because as a wise man once said, grinding is cringe and cheating is based. Oh shit. No! Damn it! I accidentally, I was just trying to look at its stats and I accidentally leveled it up. No, now I can't use it during the fight. Whoopsie. It's okay. So we can't use our extremely strong Pokemon that also happens to be resistant to electric type. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I've got something much better up my sleeve because what could be better than a Magneton? That's right, a Magnezone. Well, it's a Bulldore, but its name is Magnezone and I think that's good enough. No, no. Shoot, turns out it was not good enough. Should we have led with our ground type Pokemon in an electric type gym? Maybe. Did I sort of want this Pokemon to die anyway because of the confusing name? Oh look, we won, yay! And huh, I could have sworn that our Magna something had died, but would you look at that? No casualties. The last few gyms were <clears throat> a cakewalk. But I know that by this point in the game, someone somewhere is gonna bring the heat. So that in mind, I venture out and find me a very good nature little boy who we promptly catch an adorably nickname, Potat. Approaching Doug Dimidome, owner of the Driftvale Dimidome. I remain carefree as I've been throughout the run. Of course, y'all may know the impending doom this cowboy may hold before us, but this being a fully blind playthrough, I was none the wiser. That is, until I was faced with the beast himself, Excadrill. The first two of Clay's Pokemon were honestly fodder in the face of a few bubble beams, but this Excadrill felt different. It felt menacing. Excadrill. Why do I feel like someone's gonna die? Whew. Too real, bloody. Too real. Crystal was weak. So, given that Excadrill is a steel ground, I figured that Grim would be the best answer. Strong physical attacker, has fighting type moves, and isn't weak to steel or ground. I send him out, he tanks a Metal Claw. So far, so good. I'm not even at risk of dying to a Metal Claw crit. So, I line up my super effective Storm Throw and... Oh shit, oh no, oh no, 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 that hurts so bad and I flinched. So not only do I have no health left, but I've got no information either. Would that move have killed? How strong is this mole? In my frazzled state, I may have had a teeny lapse of judgment and sent out my magneton against this guy. 
you know, the Magneton, that's 4x weak to ground moves. And a uh, Magneton that doesn't have Levitate. That Magneton. Bulldoze. <gasps> okay, what have we learned? The This mole is strong and this mole is fast. This mole is also weak to water. In an attempt to not get swept, it's time to bring out the big bubbles. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Oh. It was at this point I realized the most painful realization in every Nuzlocke, we might have to make a sacrifice. Patat and Uno have a future. They're just children. I couldn't send them out just to die. And since I really wanted Grim around for future fights, I was left with our poor little Crobat. Crit, 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 crit. Fuck. No. Slash. It was a slash. It was a slash. It's a slash. It's a slash. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Fuck. No. Miss, 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 miss. No. And let me tell you, Warist put up an incredible fight, but in the end, she too got dimmed right in the dome. After a full two minutes of desperate deliberating, I decided to put all my faith in this round little boy to finish the job. I believe in you, Ono. It's just a slash. It's just a please don't no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Hit, 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 hit. Kill, 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 kill. Yes! Woo! Oh, it's in bonus! Wow. Okay, wow. Okay, we're we're alive. It's it's okay. That was intense, but we made it out alive. Could I have played it better? Sure. But have I just learned a valuable lesson on exercising caution? And the fragility of life? You better bet your buns I did. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god, no! I'm so fing stupid. I went into a battle. I forgot I was doing a Nuzlocke. Did you just lose a Pokemon? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, to be honest, I was on a call with my editor talking about thumbnails. So, if anything, you should really just blame my editor for st- <clears throat> Anyways. Can I be real here? I know a lot of Nuzlocke videos tend to gloss over a lot of the encounters, but I just can't bring myself to deprive you all of that content. So, in an effort to keep it entertaining, but still provide all the information, I'm gonna do a poker rap. Take it away, rap bloody. Caught a clank, axe you, emo go, litwick, skarmory, clank die, not my fault, moving on. Wait, Tangela, what? move bad, man type, weasel, killed a few, star you, gold dog, Brasilia. Wait, look, what? You gotta catch all. Azuril died to a random girl. What? And fracture too. Wow, what a world. No. Incompetence. It knows no bounds, but Hold I on. promise Wait, my friends. Okay, the same about about in my party, stop! Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding? Cabellion, Pontiac, Golduck, Bandit, Six Gem, Easy Win, Verizion. Stop it! Before they're all dead! Do we kill them? Uh, I'm just rapping it. I know, but it's going by way too fast. <laughs> Fine, I'm leaving. We'll see in the comments if they like better anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, come back, rap bloody, no. Oh, God, I didn't mean it. <sighs> I actually really liked the rap. Anyway. Where were we? <clears throat> the seventh gym. Look, it's time for an honest chat. We have messed up a few gyms at this point due solely to a, a lack of preparation. However, that all changes starting right here, right now. <laughs> this is such obvious foreshadowing. Oh, oh my kidding. Just roll the footage. All right, let's do this. Oh no. Oh no, check! I was supposed to level my Pokemon up to his level. I didn't level my Pokemon up to his level. No! 
<laughs> no. Tell me this doesn't just one shot already. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'd like to go on the record and state that two more levels would not have prevented that death, okay? A crit is a crit, not an avoidable bit. Luckily, our super gamer senses awaken and we proceed to pull off the sickest read. But Flygon would definitely destroy Bow. So let's switch to Tyler because Flygon's probably gonna do a ground move. We could do a flying type. Yes! Someone pick out the phone, dude, because I fucking called it. Red like a book. Honestly, red like a O. <gasps> oh, doth pride cometh before the fall. But just as thou rock slideth me, thou too shall be knocked the f down. Let's see. All that's left is hacks. Uh, hacks. Uh, oh boy. This is fine, right? Uh, I'm not gonna get swept, am I? Right? Oh shit, he's setting up. Oh no, he's setting up, chat. What if he's so greedy that he just tries one more time to set up? No! No! No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Boom. Easy. Not even close. Drayden's dead, and this dragon master can master dragon D's nuts! Ha! Got, Got him! <laughs> uh, I'm an adult, I swear. On our way over to Squash, our next gym leader, we were faced with a pesky little obstacle called the plot usually i wouldn't bat an eye at some rando trainer battles but unfortunately we're stopping at this clip for a reason all right chat how do you feel about this won't crit me right 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 ah! <gasps> 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 Whew. Am I glad I named this guy Udo and not Zero? Am I right? <laughs> oh, sheesh. Oh, also, we killed our pincer. As our journey to becoming a Pokemon master charges onwards, we have yet one more stop to make before the climax of our adventure. The eighth gym. Fortunately for us, our little ball of noodles managed to giga drain this entire beachy bubble bowl dry. Jim, mate, more like Jim, great, cause you just got cheese, son. Woohoo! At long last, Victory Road was upon us. Sure, we've had some losses, and sure, we've made some mistakes, but it was now finally time to face. This final front! Yeah, okay, what is going on out there? Oh. Uh, oh my god! I thought this was a children's game! What, what if a person was under there? That's so dangerous! Okay. Looks like there's actually, uh, one more obstacle to face before the final frontier. With a hop and a skip, some puzzles solved and some friends evolved. I was faced with the Team Plasma leader and the final boss. Despite an unlucky paralysis, our Sweeper Uno was still the perfect source of jet fuel to melt Chorus's steel... Boys. That is... until... <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> You're so flippin' clutch! Oh my god! We here on Team Uno fear no monster, magnet, or misplay-induced close calls. One health is all you need, baby! All right, we're just gonna have to prage. It's fine, it's fine. We just prage. Easy prage. Ancient power is not super effective against steel. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh f Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh god. Oh please, 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 please. 
Dirty Bloody, learn what Sturdy does! Oh my... Lanta! Well, Beavis over here is busted, so it's time we set our sights on the final boss of this Team Rocket ripoff. Butthead, I mean, gets this. And for those of you who don't know, this fight is notoriously difficult. Starting with this absolute tank of a coffin. Only after getting toxic stalled and reduced down to dangerous levels, are we able to finally knock out this undead defender. However, our decision to lead with Cat turned very unfortunate when Gets is followed up with his Seismitoad. Even though we hold a clear type advantage, there's really no choice but to switch out, right? One more turn and it would be lights out for our tattered little ball of noodles. I gotta say, positions like this really emphasize the significant impact our blind run has. I may sound like a broken record here, but keep in mind, I have not had any clue of any Pokemon or any moves I faced in any encounter. So when you think it to yourself, eh, Bloody's playing so bad and killing off so many Pokemon, put yourself in my shoes and think again. Fortunately, we're able to clean up a few of the next foes, but not without taking its toll on our toiled team. And then the unthinkable happened. Like, Flare Blitz will have the biggest chance of KOing him. But, oh man, this is hard. If Uno, if Uno dies, I'm gonna be so sad. But I think I have to take the risk here. <gasps> no! How did you outspeed me? No, I'm gonna recoil. I'm gonna, no! <laughs> A Hail Mary gone horribly wrong. Up until now, we've never truly suffered a tragic loss. Sure, our petard had been hoisted from time to time, but never like this. Uno was meant to be the one. Our beautiful red ray of sunshine in an otherwise perilous struggle. Without him, without our Sweeper, what hope do we even have? Following the tragic loss of our favorite flaming boy, our somber party of pals were demoralized to destruction. As each beloved buddy of mine fell, one by one, I could start to see the light. It can't be. Is this where... Our journey ends? G God? Is that you? Hello, Blooby! That's it then, huh? Me being here must mean that it's all over. Quite the contrary, Blooby. You being here means that there is hope. What do you mean? W we were about to lose, weren't we? You fought hard. You truly put everything you had out there. And for that, I have decided to give you one more chance. Wait, seriously? But what about my Pokemon? They definitely all just fucking died, right? Sadly, yes. Your fallen comrades are gone forever. However, I shall grant you one final reprieve to make the most of what you have left. But what about hardcore Nuzlocke rules? Won't people be pissed? I'm pretty sure the run is supposed to die when you wipe. Is, is this really okay? What are people in the comment section gonna think? What about the fact that it's my first one and then I have to be able to do it the right time the first time, but it is my first time, so maybe I don't have to do it the right time. But, oh my God, what do I do? And then I let the stove on. Enough! Go before I change my mind. Second chances don't come easy and they don't come often. I may be missing my old crew, but that's all the more reason to honor their efforts 
and assembled the best damn suicide squad around. Now that our motley crew of Poke Pals has been assembled, we swing by the move tutor, pick up a few essential items, and swagger our way towards this towering titan of a trainer with the deserved confidence of a war-torn girl who knows exactly what's in store for her. The battle begins, and this time we were prepared. You got a ghosty grave box, eh, Getsus? Well, here. Take a shadow ball, buddy! Boom! First one down. Seismitoad is next, eh? Water ground, eh? Taste the sucko, bucko! Two down, four to go. It's time to set up a swords dance and sweep this man's manic dreams to dust. Our team is cracked. Absolutely cracked. No way we could lose. I'm gonna start setting up. Wait, bloody, don't say that. Every single time you get really confident, something usually goes super, super wrong. Yep, okay, yep, no, there it is. <laughs> In all fairness, this lamentable leech went down a bit too fast last time for me to even process its preposterous pool of petulant punches. But now that this thunderous thorn in my side was finally put to rest the count of mons to surmount beyond had gone down to just three and believe me it was not gonna be easy all right that's fine wait what wait what wait what wait what no you f you f you f that that's it that's that's impossible <sighs> That's okay. We were lucky and we were unlucky. All that matters now is that we pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and make the most of our God-given redemption. With the flaming fury of our fallen family, it's only fitting that I finally destroy this Drapion for the crimes it has committed against my old team. That's it, that's it, right? That's it, that's right, that's it? Is that it? Is that his last Pokemon? Yes! Now that Getsus has been put to rest this... <laughs> okay, I'll stop rhyming. It was about time we trekked down the most challenging path left to travel, Victory Road. And believe me, these cakes were no cave walk. Wait, what? Prior to our departure, Diogo the Gligar and Luciera the Golurk had the privilege of joining this dumpster fire right before its beautifully burning climax. All set with some new pets and an aptitude for adventure, I face what ended up being the most brutal and grueling victory road I have ever ventured down. It was with only four of our six found friends that we finally faced the light at the end of the tunnel, and even then, it was not yet over. Wow, Nuzlocks are pain. Oh. Oh god, do I have a rival fight now? No. No! Luckily, our rival was only sporting four Pokemon himself, making it, at least numbers-wise, a fair fight. Somehow, the two Pokemon I was most afraid of here, Superior and Buffalant, turned out to be the least of my worries. Falling alongside their Molten Monkey pal, there was now only a single burb left blocking my path to the Elite Four, which I didn't think would be an issue. But somehow, this pumped up pigeon managed to nearly wipe me with the infuriating power of confusion and one particularly prolific critical hit. How do he crit? <sighs> it's okay. It's all right. We took some hits, but it's time we brush ourselves off, bolt this bird, and burst our way out of this cave and onto the true final frontier. As the burden of our transgression started to heavily outweigh the remaining survivors, it was a genuine struggle to scrap together a party we felt fitting for this new Indigo League. But at last, we were ready. By our side was Dino, Trillion, Lamatooth, Antmation, Amogus, and Diogo. And we felt relatively unstoppable. You may be wondering why Trippy the Chandelure didn't make the cut, and honestly, I'm, I'm kind of just too embarrassed to tell you what happened. Oh, that's okay. I'll just play it. Wait, no! Oh god. Weirdly terrifying time with Gigalith here. Mm. 
Miss, 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 miss. Why don't you miss with these things? Why don't you fucking miss with these? No, no, no. What? Stone Edge's rock. Rock's not super effective against fire. Is it? I thought that was ground. Since when? I vowed for that to be the last mistake I make this run, probably. For this legendary gauntlet of trainers that stood before me afforded no room for error. If I'm to scale this summit, it'll be off the back of my perfect plays and my butt-clenching praise. Prayers? Whatever. First up, Marshall the Fighter. To beat this brawny brawler, I decided to enter Diogo into the ring. As a well-timed swords dance and a few acrobatics could be all we need to make mincemeat of this Karate Kid's crew. However, it wouldn't be a bloody fight without... Well, you'll, you'll see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Sturdy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm excited. No. Oh, no. <sighs> Psych. Contrary to our previous pickles, not even a sturdy Pokemon could stop this humane pain train to victory. And next on those tracks was none other than Grimsley the Goth Boy. Sporting only a single move super effective against Dark, we knew it was crucial to set up carefully and decided to put all our faith into our dear Diogo Swords dance. After sweeping through the first few foes, I was firmly faced with quite possibly the most difficult decision of this entire run. Crocodile. Does Diogo stay in to try to keep sweeping? Or do we turn tail to this terrible T-Rex and switch to a seemingly safer alternative? Ultimately, our decision led us to pull out our buffed up boy and proceed to give our flexible little Furby a chance to dance. And boy, does our bucko deliver. Not only does an ice beam crank this croc down to half health, but we also managed to hit a 10% chance to freeze. <laughs> Let's <f> go! <gasps> Woo! Wait. Bruh. Oh, 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 oh no. Our ice beam ended up just being a crushed cube short of the KO. And suddenly, we were in danger. Thankfully, our Lamatooth was about guaranteed to live through this Croc's next quake. Barring, I, I, I guess, like a crit. I, I should live at 10. <gasps> Crit! No! <sighs> it's all right. Let's clean up this croc, and we can face our final foe with ideally no more casualties to carry out of these dark and deadly doors. This is it. The end game. With Lamatooth down, we no longer have a single move super effective against this metal monster. But as long as we believe, and with a little bit of lady luck on our side, our party of pals will prevail. Oh, that, 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 no, 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 no! Two crits. Oop. Truly, we are now at a war of attrition. Who can hold out the longest? My entire team of trained professionals, or one stupid? Bloody, you, uh, you, you might want to look at the screen real quick. Why? What's going- Ooh! Oh, man. I really thought we were going to win. After all we'd gone through. After all the foes we've faced. And all the lads we've lost. <laughs> it all ends here, doesn't it? Tempting as it may be to feel somber at the abrupt end of our adventure, I'd prefer to focus on the amazing journey we've experienced. And while this story may be over, the tale of our future trials is just waiting to be told. Next time on Gloomy Ball Z. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Seriously, I have put everything I had my, this last month <laughs> into the video. So if you could subscribe and like and comment what your favorite part was and all that stuff, it mean the world to me. I just, I really hope everyone enjoyed. And, and seriously, let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Okay, goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching.